All right, we're talking to Art Baltazar, Cat in the Hat. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. San Diego Comic Con, man. It's like you you, you realize it's only day day two or day one. You got like 14 more days to go, but I'm ready, man. I am fully hydrated. Got my caffeine. I'm good to go. So how did uh, how'd you get on board with Cat and Hat? Oh, this was cool. I have an uh, an editor named Whitney that I worked on here with with Drew and Jot when she she helped me with this book, and then she went over to Random House, got a job at Random House, and sent me an email one day. Said, "Hey, man, would you like to work on Dr. Seuss books?" And she said, who's your favorite? And I said, I love the cat. And she said, can you draw sketches of all the characters? So I drew I drew Cat in the Hat, I drew Grinch, I drew Green Eggs and Ham Guys. My favorite is Fox and Socks. I drew a bunch of sketches. And they asked me, who do you like the best? And I said, I love the cat. I grew up reading the cat. And he's a troublemaker like me, so I really identify with him. And I did some character designs, and like a few days later, I they said yes. They like, And it was funny, like... On a, I got I got like an email like right before we were going on vacation, so I bought an iPad. I took it camping with me, and I found Wi-Fi. I, I practiced on an iPad, and I sent them the stuff while on vacation. And when I got home Monday or Tuesday, they said yes to the book. And um, we're going to do uh, graphic novels. And I was real hesitant at first because I thought maybe I have to draw like Dr. Seuss, but they said draw, draw him your own way. And I thought I'd had to rhyme, but I didn't have to rhyme. They said make comics your own way, so... Check out the inside. Look at that. It's the first time ever where Dr. Seuss characters are in graphic novel form. Like normally they do the, you know, chapter books, story books. But it's cool, man. I'm real happy with this. This one just came out, and I'm working on a book two, too. Book two also. Yeah, two so also. Yeah. Okay, so he's kind of a troublemaker, but it's his mom that's leaving the kids alone. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was the weirdest thing to write because the mom, in the story, the original story, the mom goes away and the kids are left home and the, the fish has to watch them. Fish is the babysitter, the goldfish. So the hardest thing to write in here was how do I get the cat in the house without getting too creepy? So that was the hardest thing. We wrote back, I wrote the whole thing and then we went back and forth with Seuss. How about this? How about this? So we finally got it. So it's not, it, it works. Oh, in book two, book two, she. It got less creepy. Like book two, I um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit. Book two, I had him at home again in the story, but we changed it to the library, so now they're in public, so the cat can find him. And I got I erased that, like trying to get him to into the house. So it's real cool, man. But of course, he causes problems. And we see the mom in book two. It's kind of cool. She's gonna be in the car. And so when I first heard this was announced, I was wondering, like, you know. Did a bunch of time pass, whatever, but it's in continuity. It's relatively close to the originals, right? Yeah, yeah. They, um, Dr. Seuss people told me to read the first book, Cat and Hat, and then read the second one, Cat and Hat Comes Back, and then tell us what's next. So in my mind, this is book three. This is the third, but I know there's been a lot of cartoons and movies and stuff, but they told me don't watch any of that. Just, watch, just read the first two books, tell us what comes next. And the cool thing is, like, I was ready to order them. I was gonna order them online, and then suddenly I, I right before I, I added to cart, you know, and then before I checked out, I went on YouTube and found a lady who read the first two books. So she read them and she did all the voice. So I just watched her videos over and over, and I didn't have to buy the books. And um, I don't don't tell no one I didn't buy them, you know. I read them though, or she read them to me. So she read the first two books, and that was real cool. So I, then I got the sketchbook. God, I was sketching while she was reading it, so it was kind of fun. But, but we need people to buy your book. Yeah, this book is available everywhere. Right now, where books are sold, you know, it's like like and subscribe and all that. But, yeah, this book came out in April, like first week of April. It's in all the stores. It's at Target and Walmart and stuff. Oh, it's so cool, man. And it's weird to go to, to Target or go to all these big stores and see my book on the shelf. And it's on the end cap right now, so it's cool. And I'm making another one. Book two is coming out next year. Possibly more. It's not official, but possibly more. Because I know the people, you know, keep talking to them. Hey, man, I want to do more stuff. So they always say, yeah, we're going to. So book one and book two pretty soon. Yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, so that's great. I'm glad you're doing it, and I hope you do many, many, many more. Yeah, I hope so too, man. Buy my stuff. Look for me on the Internet. My name's Art Baltazar, famous cartoonist. Follow me when you see me, all that stuff. No fighting, no crying. Be nice to each other. Do the things that make you happy. You guys are awesome. Okay, bye-bye. Entertainmentfish.com. Woo! <laughs>